G'day and welcome back to your daily dose of Karen's, Kevin's and their re- crazy wild public freakouts. Today we've got another banger for you as always. Welcome back to Completely Stupid, the show about stupid people doing completely stupid things with your host me, the Australian Idiot. Let's get into the clips. Here's a clip that will probably peeve a lot of you guys off and that's just unfortunate but here we have a person who's parked into a disability car park and an older person has come up and accused them of parking illegally because they don't look disabled and as you'll see with a section at the end of this clip they do have a disabled placard anyway here's the clip okay well i gotta report that and uh make sure that you're aware of it all right so thank you very much hi you have something to say no what do you have a problem with all right, I ask you if you have a disabled What do parking. you need to ask about what is wrong with me for? It's discrimination. All you blacks know about discrimination, and that's not the story. The story is... You black, is son. Okay, that's, that's racist. You want me to let me talk or not? No. That's, right, that's, that's, ra- that's, that's it, racist. It doesn't matter. No, you all that's of racist. you have that same story. You that's don't racist. let people explain. And that's all you, you don't need to explain. Know. To me. Well, you you're asking me. You don't need to explain. You don't need to explain to me. That why are you, you asking just, me if you don't want me to explain? You don't, you don't need to you come and ask. Ass. Listen, you don't need to explain. Uh, you're you're me. asking me with your camera, so I'm explaining to because you. Because you said you oh. was calling the police on me. I did. Because I don't give a really wrong with me because I parked in handicap. Yeah. That was none of your business. Yes, it is. Because I'm disabled and I have a problem finding uh, find a space. And I ask how many, you. How many empty spaces was it for you to park in? I have to go around and look. Well, that's your problem. You should have gotten I here know, earlier. It's my problem, disabled people Well, like we can me. wait till the police get here then. That's your problem. Well, it's going to be some time. Well, that's your fault then. It's not my fault. Just your like fault you too. said, it's all. It's but like I it's, ask you, you don't, said you don't didn't. say it's all our, our blacks' problems because yeah. you can find it. Well, I'm glad. You always bring that racist remark in everything. That's your ace I card. I did not say that that was racist yeah. until you said it was no, our no, blacks' no. problems. Turn things. It's no use talking it's to people right. like you. It's all right. It's on the internet. It's all it's right. Because right. you said it was our blacks' Hi. problem. Hi. She's asking me, and I can't talk to her because she makes this a racist thing. You said blacks. But blacks is right. But you bring, you people bring that into every case. Yeah, you just said you people your again. ace card. That's your ace Do you- card. Of course, the classic, because they look fine, they must not be disabled in any way, shape, or form. There are literally various different things, like there's invisible disabilities. This person could also be motoring around a disabled person. That is also a completely reasonable thing that could occur here. And that's beyond that. If they have the disabled placard, then... In my personal opinion, you shouldn't go further into it. You don't need to harass them about it. You don't need to do them. Yes, there are people who do drive around disabled people who then take advantage of that disabled placard when they're not doing so. That is definitely a thing. But ultimately, if they have that placard, move on with your day and just go move on. But there's no point. It's ridiculously stupid. And you're just adding on to the pile of harassment that these people probably already deal with on a day-to-day basis. Okay, I'm going to ask you to uh, bear with me for a moment because this clip has a fair bit of story of what happened prior to the actual clip itself. So, the... The person behind the camera here is there with their grandmother and their son at a Mexican restaurant. Her, her mother has taken the pen from her son and her son made some form of groan noise. You know, the typical, uh, something along those lines. And someone in the restaurant in the background said, Oh, I want, I want to hear what you said, but I can't hear you over these effing kids. And so per, the person behind the camera gets up to confront this table. It only turns out that she went to the wrong table first and the actual person who said this was trying to hide in the background. Ultimately, she figured out that she's at the wrong table and goes find the person who's trying to hide. This ultimately devolved into a full-on fist fight in the middle of the restaurant, which only stops shortly after the police start to arrive, and that's where this clip jumps in. Let's get into it. It's a baby! It is a baby! Are you fucking Don't insane? bring your baby in a You're yelling at me, goddammit! Don't yell at me! I'm only yelling because... 
I'm only yelling at you because you're yelling at me and I'm trying to get you to. No, you, no, I'm trying to tell you if you plan on finishing your you dinner, get the f down, down and eat. And eat. That's what I'm telling you. Because other people are trying to have a conversation. That's what I did with my children. I didn't have it did so you loud. Say that? Where, where people at my table, at, at tables next to me, couldn't hear me talking. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Voice, so everybody in the damn restaurant. But ma'am, listen. Yeah. You, you start screaming at the top of your voice. The baby. You I never heard the baby. We never even heard the baby over there. And we're sitting right there. there. And we're sitting oh, right there. there. I went to the bathroom earlier. I could hear the baby in the bathroom. I'm sitting right there. What I baby? I can hear. You're a ignorant bitch. No, I can hear her talking. Hey, mom. I can hear her baby in the bathroom. So you started yelling at this baby. Now we're gonna get everybody's food to go, and y'all gonna take I'm just trying to get up out of my stay. seat. She wouldn't let me out of the seat, and she stop that me. If we stay, people are going to jail. Okay. So get your food to go, pay your check, and go. Okay. Oh, that's so cute. Let's you, not do this. Right. Whore ass. Oh. Yes, it sucks when you're at a restaurant with your friends and f or family and you're trying to have a conversation with it and it turns out that a baby's in the restaurant being as a baby does, loud and annoying. Yes, that does suck. But it doesn't mean that you have to say loud enough that the people with the kid will hear you that you can't hear people over the god over these kids. That is so unnecessary. Yes, it sucks, but welcome to the factor of life. Babies exist in the world. They're not going to just vanish because you don't like hearing them, and unfortunately they're going to be in restaurants when those their family wants to eat out. And unfortunately, they're going to act like babies. Who would have figured? What entitlement? Here's a fun clip. So what's happened here is an overweight guy has sat down in a chair next to another person. This person was not happy about that and expressed that in probably the most dumbest way you probably could have. By the way, I just want to let you know the person who she's claiming is fat is the guy in the video with the white bottom up shirt. Okay? You'll see him at the end and you'll see what I mean that this seemed a bit beyond stupid. No ma'am, I'm not cursing at anyone. No ma'am. Absolutely, I will give him an apology. Oh, because we don't like fat people next to us? Oh, okay. We sure don't want you sitting next to I've checked I've checked in my flight. The fuck I paid my money. So because I don't want your gut overlapping me. That's my problem? Right, I don't like fat people. No, I don't. Your your gut is here and we're laughing here. I don't like no, that. No, I don't like fat people. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't like fat people. No, I don't. I paid my ticket, that's all I know. And I know I paid my ticket. And you're fat, so. He, he's too well gordo to get to me. You too well gordo. Yeah, you fat. You fat pork eating. No, he, oh, you want to be. No, we're going to be calling the Leos. They're not flying today. You're not flying today. I'm not flying because they talk shit to me. We didn't start this, they did. And I paid my money, so that's all I'm doing. Oh yeah, did I forget to mention that Karma also said hi in this clip? Well, there's your information there. Karma said hi. She uh, got told that she's not flying today because of her actions here. <laughs> And man, that guy in the uh, white button-up shirt that she's pointing out, she's, he's not fat. He's, I could say that he probably is overweight. He's probably got a beer gut, but he's not what most people would define as fat, as fat gut leaking over the chair. I'd be assuming you'd be talking about some 350, 400 pound person who's just larger than the chair itself, so they seep over the actual handles themselves. But no, it's just an ordinary guy who's probably got a little bit of weight on him. My god, what an unnecessary, over-the-top reaction to this all. Next, we have a character who can get precisely what she ordered, so she decides to uh, go overboard and throw everything from this fast food restaurant everywhere. Oh my god! 
Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, hell. No, no, no. Wait, 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 Yes, self-entitled Karen. Yes, you can let out your baby rage here. It won't do you any good, especially considering there's a camera behind you recording your every move and will probably be sent to the police at some point in the very near future and you're probably going to have some problems after that. But hey, that's not my problem to deal with anymore. That's yours. <laughs> I don't get people like this. It's just like, I'm not getting what I want. I'm going to barge my way in. I'm going to grab this crap, make a mess and walk away. Why? So the guy behind the camera was apparently going to the toilet, using the toilet in this business here, and he was taking a bit. It took about 10 minutes, and around 10 minutes in, the workers decided to get him to get out on what was assumed to have been an emergency by the guy behind the camera. It turns out that's not the case, and now this happens. What's your problem, man? What's your problem? I was inside, no, 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 no. and you said, you, you told me your new guy is have to use it, so I come out here in the middle, yes, and I... Take it, take it, take it, take it. Five minutes you use this bathroom. Yes. Then again you go. I did not finish. He called me out. So I have to get out. No, no, your, your your I did not finish how, using how, the bathroom. How many times your bathroom finished? How many times? It's, ten, it's only 10 minutes and you guys no, called ten, me no, out. Ten, no, ten minutes. He was there. He can prove it. You okay? Tell, you tell him. You tell him. It how was many five minutes. You, no, I did not went inside. I didn't inside for five, 45 minutes. Also, I'm a customer, and you guys should not shout, shout at me. You see, you customer, but how many, how time inside you? How I was inside for 10 minutes, and I was, and you guys called me out. I thought you guys have an emergency, so I was get out there in the middle. And I was trying to go back. You guys doing this to me, man. Ain't gonna lie, this is a pretty, uh embarrassing situation for this guy to be in for needing to go to the toilet and then take that long in the toilet. I can understand when the workers would be curious and what in the world's taking him so long to go to the toilet in the first place and he might be doing something sketchy in those toilets. But at the same time, it's like one of those things where you never know why they could still be in the toilet for. Yeah, they could either be cracking a bong or something along those lines or they could be legitimately just needing to go to the toilet for that long of a period of time and ultimately by now annoying them about being in there for that long you've just caused a massive embarrassment to the customer themselves who's now very very upset towards you so yeah yeah wow here you have a guy who is trying to make a repossession on a certain car, and the owner of that car decides to come out and starts axing away at the wires and bits holding the car to the toy. Uh, Sir, you know, this is going to cause you a lot of trouble. I don't give a f I'm videotaping this. I don't do ask me if I care. Well, I mean, obviously not, but you know, you're going to pay the damages. Sir, the truck is repossessed. It's on state property now. It's not on your property anymore, so stop it. Because you took it out of my property. I was actually not on your property. I was on the street. My truck was not on the street. No, my truck was. I hooked it up by the front tires. So quit it. Hey, stop it. Freaking get away. No, you get the f*** out of me. Okay, you better get away. No. What makes you think this is a good idea to do? Just going out there with your axe and trying to break off the wire. And secondly, why is the repo guy recording this? Shouldn't he call in the police? If he's doing a legal repossession, shouldn't he like have police officers and people to help on hot dial when uh, people that he's repossessing stuff from become violent like this? Like, isn't that the first thing you should be doing? Not like, oh, I've got to make sure to record this. This guy is swinging an axe at my stuff. I should totally record this and not alert the authorities so that I could potentially have them come ASAP because there's this guy roaming around with a bloody weapon. Like, I don't think you have the brightest mind. I think your mind of clout came first rather than getting the proper authorities and then uh, keep maintaining a certain difference, telling them to go away, but uh, not get too close because, you know, you don't want to get yourself hurt. Here we have a Karen with a question mark at Taco Bell. I do really mean Karen in quotation marks because I'm unsure how to really process this one. Here's the clip. Here, so what? You put my... Hey, man!
<laughs> you know, I'm kind of just stumped on the whole how apparently how Taco Bell prepared her food. It put her in, put her life at risk. Like I'm just sitting here trying to think about that. How does one prepare for you so horribly, and put and that they put someone's life in risk? Like is it just completely raw, not even cooked? But wouldn't you notice that type of thing? Is this a repeat of that wings guy from the other time where he somehow managed to eat all of his wings yet? They were apparently raw. I don't know. This seems a little bit up some weird alley over there. I don't know. What are your thoughts? Some context to this clip to what happened prior to this. The guy in the black suit there called the Toa here, which is the guy in the cap and the sh black shirt, to come and tow a bunch of these cars away. Ultimately, though, when he gets there, it turns to complete and utter chaos. <laughs> I have so many questions that I doubt we'll ever get any actual answers from because this entire situation just seems completely nuts. Like, it looks like the guy in the suit doesn't really care anymore about the towing in the first place and would just rather not have this huge kerfuffle on his parking lot. And everyone else whose cars were supposedly meant to get towed in this situation are harassing the tower as what happens in society because no one likes getting punished for their actions of leaving a car in a bad space or something along those lines. Like, maybe in this situation that isn't the case and the guy just asks for them to be towed for m maybe no reason, no good reason, and that could be completely true here. But again, this is the type of way people treat anyone trying to tow cars in any way, shape, or form, regardless of how they caused it. So, it's not surprising. But, it, I don't know, this seems like chaos. Hopefully it all got sorted out. Hopefully. Prior to the recording of this clip, the person who's recording may or may not have cut off the purse the other person in this clip. Whatever happened, it led to road rage from this other person, which ultimately ended in something uh, amazing to say the least. Watch the clip. I have 
have children in the car, ma'am. Get out the car and see me then. I have children in the car. You should never cut. You should have never cut, you stupid I don't give a about your kids. You don't give a about mine. Yeah, record me. I'm on camera. What an example. Wow. Okay, you guys. Don't, just, it's okay. You're okay, puppy, okay? Don't cry, it's okay. Congratulations, you want a reward for your stupidity? Like, what was the bright idea in that? Like, first off, it's like, I don't know what you were trying to do initially there when you were moving, but you can't drive for shit. Like, you just take multiple points to go one direction, then you decide to say, screw it, I'm gonna go slam right into this other person's car whilst they're recording me, because that ain't gonna backfire later. What the actual... <laughs> Are you dumb? Like... <laughs> I was gonna say before the crash happened, it's just like, well, there has been a crash so far. Uh, regardless of who ended up being at fault for the initial incident, you've clearly now attempted to do more damage to their car post the incident. So now things are gonna be a little more fishy. But no, no, the crash happens after the recording. She smashes into their car. It's like, I wouldn't be too surprised if the insurer, your insurance, drops you for this. Because this is like, you purposely did this. Not only were you road raging against this person, you also just purposely smashed into their car. Like, what were you thinking? Are you that dumb? What? Am I only one thinking about the sheer insanity it is to do something along these lines? Like, wow. I will actually have to cut the impact scene because YouTube will most likely age gate this video for that particular thing, so sorry about that. In the next clip, we got a Karen going through all seven stages of grief. Uh, Jeff, you take a picture of me going I'm so excited to meet my first real life Karen. Right here. Yeah, yeah. Right here. What's going on? <laughs> this is a Chelsea. Okay. Chelsea Handler. I get to, is she joking or is this serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Oh, what's going on? I'm serious as a f***ing heart attack! Yeah, yeah. Serious about what? How long to take? What are you talking about? How long to take? How long to what take? How long to take to get the schlack in your food? What does that mean? How about your bartenders? What are they all women? I have no idea. I don't work here. Who, who named it? Not me. What happened to the restaurant before it was here? Obviously, they didn't make it. They didn't make it? It seems that way. If are they're not here. Us? I'm sorry? You going to know us today? What is Noah's? Noah's in Stonington? I don't live around here. You don't even know Noah's. I live in Situate. I just can't do this anymore. It's too much fun. Right here. You got hey, any, YouTube. Any more? Ah, you there it is. Your channel, you All right, awesome. Did you get to Chelsea? Who's Chelsea? Chelsea Handler. What about her? I don't know. She's the fucking rich bitch that's really loony that loves to speak her mind. It looks like you're missing just a rich part, huh? Am I what? Are you Greek? Am I Greek? Yeah. No, I don't have enough hair to be Greek. <sighs> oh, you're gonna record me now? All right. That's smelling really good. There you go. Fucking make sure she's a chef. How about that? <laughs> never did that. All right, hey, it's Not a... a million f years have I ever done that? <laughs> oh, man, every time I think you're done, you just step it Not up a bit. a million f years All have right. I ever put shellac in someone's food. You All right. got that, you Woo, you're gonna I don't have a heart attack. Yeah. I don't even believe what I'm I hope you do enough cardio. No, I don't. You want to see my tummy too? No, it's clearly. <laughs> I was told I look like shit at the beach. <laughs> well, it makes or sense. I look like shit at the beach. All right. All right, I gotta get back to work. Hey, this has been great. I was super excited for what this. You Thank you so much. Uh, this is so funny. <laughs>
<laughs> I, I just love the guy's energy in this clip. He's just like, oh my god, I get to record a carrot. Look at me go. Mom and dad, look at me now. It's so funny. But the, the lady here is just... I don't even know what's even happening here. It just looks like she's going through multiple stages of different feelings and all that. And then ultimately ends at a point... I, I don't get it. She goes from just being like, oh, yeah, I'm serious. I'm having fun with this to just screaming her head off for some reason or other. This Karen is silent but deadly. She's running around these skaters, chasing them down, attempting to push them off or just being an overall annoyance. <laughs> oh, I thought Lord. this shit was made up. I know, but they exist. What are they calling Co Karens. Karen. <laughs> oh my lord, this is nuts. Karen in the wild. Look at her go. Oh That's assault, god. Karen. That's assault right there. That's assault. Oh, greetings. So, uh. You know, nothing else to do with your day? Can I ask what oh, it is nice. to you? Like, why do you feel like it's important to infringe on the rights, Karen? This is nuts. This is Man. Karen is really out here walling. Karen is walling. Yeah, so I don't, I don't understand why you're here though. Can you just voice your concern and we can talk about it like logical human beings? I, I didn't even say anything to her. I just said mind our business and that was it. So are you afraid of the COVID? Is that what it is? Or you just don't want them skating in your neighborhood? Are we bringing property value down? What's the issue? She's a runner. She's a track star. I want to die. Wait a minute. I swear I've seen this Karen before. Oh my god. Do you guys know that clip where there's a Karen trying to get a, a dog that doesn't have a leash to run onto a highway? This literally looks like that exact Karen here, once again, proving herself to be a complete and utter nonsense to society. Oh my god, what a... What is she even doing here? Just not going to answer any questions she's being asked. She just wants to chase down the skaters, be an overall noise, attempt to push them off, which, if any of them gets hurt, then she can, uh... Have some fun getting charges pressed, especially considering someone's recording, so uh, good luck on that one. This next clip we have a Karen that absolutely loses it over some kids saying some swear words at a skate park. I'm making a deal with you right here, right now. They better all hear it. Any profanity, no, you laugh, you laugh, any profanity comes out of any of y'all's mouths. There is a rule that says no profanity. There's a city policeman sitting right over there. And I will take any one of y'all to him and y'all will go to juvenile court. Tape record, put it on YouTube, put it wherever you'd like. I am. Where, where's this coming from? He was cussing like a him? sailor and I asked him not to. And he refused. <laughs> so I called the city police and they said, I can take him or any of you that can't respect it if you want to mouth off in front of a child. Because this is a city park and there's no reason to be talking like that. Alright, I understand. A lot of us don't <laughs> act like that though, so... Exactly. But for those of you who do and don't have the sense enough to put a cork in it when asked to be respectful, thank you. But you I'm, should I'm do it a whole her. lot harder. Tell her. Come on. You tattling? Mom, mom is gonna. You're gonna get grounded for yeah. tattling. Mom's gonna ground the hell out of you. No, she's sure. Hey! What uh, the heck? Wait till mom comes to pick me up. No, there are enough <laughs> F words coming out of his mouth that he should be ashamed of what he said. And he said his mother didn't hear, nor did his dad. <laughs> Don't listen to him, he's crazy. Well, he's just messing no. with you. He's just messing with you. Well, I hope his parents see I have his mom's number. You want to call and her? And I hope she grounds him for eternity. <laughs> because you have been served, my man. <laughs> You've been served! No! No, I don't I'm want sorry. it from you. Just a high five. Even leaving you hanging. 
hanging, boy. Leaving you hanging. Uh, did I hear something come out of somebody else's mouth over here? Beat him up. City police are right over there waiting. Where they at? And it's on speed dial. <laughs> They're sitting right over there waiting. I ride scooters. I rollerblade. I'm done. I'm done. Shut the front door, bro. It's not illegal to video. Yeah, no, it is. Yeah, if you don't he have just to told me it was illegal for me to video. <laughs> he just I've told never... me it was illegal for me to. He's telling me it's illegal for me to. I said it's illegal for you to. I was, I was there once. Like, I'm trying to get some for Urban Island. Urban Island is poo. He's, he's, he's doing this again and doesn't know what's coming out of it. He's not even talking about it. That's what he's talking about. He's talking to us about something else. Totally. No, he came to me. He just, see, you're jumping in somebody's plate and don't know the plate. He just walked up to me That's and started That's a good thing. I like that thing, too. That's a really good thing. <laughs> he just walked up to me and started a conversation. So, see your way out. If you don't have a college degree and you don't know what you're talking about, I think he's a college student. He actually went to, he went to LSU. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't know it, not yet. Actions. Quit making. You're so mature. So, we done? Oh, we're done. I just, I'm just asking, please, to just not videotape me. We done. All right. Done, Blayson. Can you come? Done. Make a, can you come make a sponsor me Nope. Why? <laughs> okay, I'm getting back to video. What's up the street? The cops. Come on. Let's go get a line. I'm just asking a Am question. I, I was just, I was just asking a question. But I was just asking a question. I'm not having a conversation. <laughs> but if I try to start a conversation with you, <laughs> why can't you answer it? Jerry! I'm not Jerry. talking to you. I swear, we don't say anything. Come to me. It's a public conversation. I'm not answering But I was just asking you a question. Jerry! Jerry! It's not between you. All right, all right! <laughs> your, your smile makes my day go. I don't know why you little munchkins think y'all all have to get in somebody's business. Because we're a family. <laughs> Are you? Then you want to come with him and go with him down to the family? Oh, oh hell no. I'm not family reunion. Dang. What's the family reunion? Did anybody do a front time blood slide for me? He's already. Just touch me. I'll close my eyes and let you do When wasting Do it. <laughs> the air. It's not worth breathing. There's why not enough I, air. Why are you like so worried about looking so good? I'm not. Because Apparently. I started a conversation with the young man. I don't understand. Boy, why you've got, look, look, look what you've done started. That made it 10 times worse. I know I can finish it too. I'll be down here Monday. Oh boy, we got school Monday. <laughs> No, we're not. No, we're not. We got homework. <laughs> <laughs>
I mean, first I say I get it, I understand it, but, like, what's the point of getting involved just telling these kids off when, A, they're not your kids, and, uh, B, if you've already called the cops over, maybe get them to do it if you really are that, de if you think it's that wrong. Like, ultimately, I think we've learned something here. Actually, no, we've already learned it before. Karens versus kids. The kids always win because they don't give a damn. They don't give a shit. They will just look at you, make fun at you, do some silly jokes, make fun of their friend jokingly, and all this other the crap they don't give a shit what you say <laughs> they're not gonna care at the end of the day they're just here to have fun and you just gave them a nice six minute clip for them that posts on the internet <laughs> oh well